welcome to another monthly tarot reading lottery. Thank you so much everybody for supporting me. If you are new to my channel, this is a monthly event that I'm doing right now and I do this every month. Um, this is a tarot reading lottery, so basically people who are pledging uh, two or four dollars on my Patreon, uh, their names are added to this bowl of names and one person gets picked randomly and they receive a tarot reading. So, if you would like to enter the next reading lottery, then all you need to do is go visit my Patreon and make a pledge of two or four dollars. If you pledge four dollars, your name uh, is getting added twice, so you have a double chance to win a reading. And I'm very excited because a few more people have sent palm pictures, so there's a bigger chance this time that somebody who wants a palmistry reading is going to get picked. But in case it doesn't happen, um, you can still send me your palm pictures and maybe next time so I'm just using this magic brush to pick the name the lucky person's name going to receive the reading. And let's see who that is. And it's Emma. Congratulations, Emma. And let's get started with your reading. So, Emma, since you haven't sent me a palm picture, I'm going to give you a different type of reading. And I decided to give you a monthly reading type. Um, it's the five elements reading. And uh, it's one of those reading types that you can do every month. And um, there's, uh, I believe, three versions of these monthly reading types that are available on my Patreon. And I will soon be posting a video about a longer monthly reading type that I also do. So if you would like to be uh, prepared for what's coming up for you next month, and would like a monthly tarot reading uh, personally done for you, then you can go check out my Patreon. You find that you will find every information in the description box of this video. But this is the five elements reading, and it's not only possible to use this as a monthly reading. Um, but I would like to show you how it works when we're talking about a month period. So this is going to be about June for you. So I'm just going to do a little more shuffling with the cards. And 
and the cards. All right. And so the fifth element of this reading is you, the questioner. You are in the middle of the spread. And when it comes to monthly readings, this card also represents where you're coming from. So it's your past influences. It's what you're bringing with you into the upcoming period. Okay. Uh, and then, obviously, we have the four elements. So, air. which represents your thinking your ideas the intellectual part of what's going to be happening next month and it also has to do with your um, immediate interpersonal connections that are maybe not as deep as intimate relationships, but still important business relationships, uh, acquaintances, friends. Then we have Earth. And Earth, uh, the element of Earth represents the material, the financial, the resources that are at your disposal and also possibly your health belongs here okay then we have water water represents your emotions your close relationships Everything that has to do with the heart, with that soft side of yourself, family, possibly, depending, of course, on what sort of a relationship you have with your family. For some people, it's not that important, and then it doesn't belong here, but if you but if you have an important, meaningful relationship with your family, then that belongs here too. And of course, your, your close, close friends, your partner, if you are in a relationship. And these cards show the, basically, the atmosphere or the energies that surround these areas. And... The last card represents fire, the element of fire, and your passions. So everything that makes your life more colorful, your motivation, your, your calling in life, possibly your career, when we're talking about career in this specific reading, we might want to look at a combination of the earth and the fire element. The fire element also represents creativity, um, sexuality, all of those things. So let's see what sort of energies we are dealing with here. And you in the middle are the Queen of Swords. 
the air sign, three, the air element, three of cups, the earth element, hanged man, water, the empress, and the fire element, we have the seven of swords. Okay, so it's interesting because we have two major arcana cards and that's telling me that there, there's something really meaningful going on in these two areas. We have two swords cards and swords are connected with the element of air and one card that is that belongs to the cup suit and cups represent water so we have this really kind of airy thought and cognition based um, core to this reading with two major arcana cards and a little bit of water energy so let's just get started from the beginning. We have the Queen of Swords in the middle. And the Queen of Swords represents you and what you're bringing with yourself into the next month. So what the underlying energy is coming from you, your person, your being. And the Queen of Swords is a court card and thus it represents personal identity, personality structures and it represents you as a decision maker, someone who can be really tough. The Queen of Swords is the toughest queen of all the queens. She's really sharp when it comes to thinking really quick and can be very ruthless. And what I mean by that is that the Queen of Swords is basically the, the opposite of the Empress that we have here in the position of water. So the underlying energy is you drawing boundaries, you cutting things out of your life that no longer are helpful to you. So you have this really kind of strict and unforgiving energy about you. You're not putting up with certain things anymore and you're not letting things slide. You're really taking charge and you're um, absolutely confident that there are certain things that need to be eliminated from your life and you're doing just that you're not um, you're not uh, putting up with negative things anymore so just to give you an example of what the Queen of Swords is like, if you have a friendship in your life, you have a friend who's perhaps not as useful to you in all senses of the world, word, uh, someone who is spiritually, mentally, emotionally not supportive, and perhaps they are kind of a mooch and they are really not adding anything positive to your life the queen of swords being embodied by your spirit at this moment at this time might want you to to let that person go to tell them that this is over i don't want to do this anymore and uh, doing it with a lot of confidence and without any uh, any guilt feelings so there's a, a lot of 
a lot of strength in the Queen of Swords and you're coming from this perspective of wanting to purify your life. Now, with the air element, we have the Three of Cups and the Three of Cups is telling me that in these kind of superficial relationships that we talked about um, business relationships, acquaintances, people that are in your life but they are not like not to be considered intimate partners or uh, family members basically friends so the three of cups um, as a water card represents the positive emotions that come from socializing so this is an indication that your communication style and your attachment style with others is very positive at this moment and very much uh, focused and oriented towards having fun. As you can see, these three hands are um, having a good time there. These people are celebrating something. There's an, an element of just wanting to elevate ourselves from the gray everyday reality and to connect with others in a casual but fun way. So you definitely have that as a strength point here. And it's also telling me that you have this charisma, you have this uh, positive um, energy about you that is drawing people in. So um, that's something that is is definitely helpful when you're trying to um, be successful in life at any any level. Now the earth element, on the other hand, we have the hanged man here, and the hanged man, as I mentioned in the beginning is a major arcana card and this card is suggesting to me by the way it's such a beautiful card this card is suggesting to me that you're kind of struggling a little bit at the moment financially or in terms of um, resources there's obstacles the hanged man is hanging from upside down and he has a reversed perspective on everything so this is a this is a spiritual um, kind of moment a teachable moment for you but it's not necessarily all that positive for finances and for for making money and uh, being successful in that field so there's definitely obstacles in your way and there's a level of feeling stuck so what I would advise based on this card is to try not to push it too hard try not to make something happen that isn't really going to happen so don't push it, just accept it and go with it because eventually if you relax into this hanged man position you will eventually uh, set yourself free you will eventually get out of this trap this position of being stuck so just accept it for what it is and uh, and be patient because things are not really happening at the moment. There's not as much movement as you would like, but that's okay. Okay, so with the emotional side of things, we have the Empress. And the Empress is such a mesmerizingly beautiful card. 
It's one of my favorite cards, my old time favorites. And what the Empress is telling me is that you are at the moment really getting in touch with your loving female energy and you're sharing this nurturing, um, creative and beautiful love with others, people who are really close to you. And I see a connection here with the Three of Cups. So it's like the Three of Cups is this uh, side effect, so to say, of the, the Empress being present in your emotional world. Because the Empress is just so giving and it's an indication that you you find it easy to be compassionate and uh, to connect with people who are uh, really important to you and to to really embody this energy of motherly unconditional love so that's that's really beautiful and with the fiery side of things I have the feeling that the these critical thinking that is suggested by the Queen of Swords is mostly needed in this area because we have the Seven of Swords here and to have this card in this particular position to have this card in, in, a, in a fire position uh, it suggests to me that you're not really tapped into what makes you tick, what makes you really passionate and you're just not really finding yourself in your creative activities and since swords represent thinking and air um, and especially with the seven of swords uh, we have someone who is uh, who's basically justifying and rationalizing things that are less than right things that are not perfectly okay there's this person collecting all the swords for himself so there's an element of selfishness but I think that in, in this particular situation it means that you know that you are doing something wrong that you're not really connecting with your own um, your own self-expression you're not doing everything to to really show the world what you are about that you are probably putting something off procrastinating on something that would be important and the the idea that pops into my head here is the idea of bad habits and i see the queen of swords as a purifying strict force that is cutting some of these uh, negative unhelpful tendencies out of your life some of these habits and routines that are standing in the way of your self-expression of your creativity and I think that if you use this power to to really clear things up in this area then that's the best use of this energy coming from within because otherwise the queen of swords can be kind of argumentative as well kind of unpleasant but for this particular um, purpose it can be used very well so ask yourself what sort of habits and um, tendencies there are in your life that need to go that you need to let go of and perhaps even thinking ways of thinking because we're talking about air here 
So ways of thinking that are only holding you back. Think it through and be ruthless. Don't have mercy and cut those things out of your life to be able to have more success in this area. I hope that you enjoy this reading, Emma. Thank you for watching. To everybody else who watched as well. And I hope to see you all in another video. Bye bye.